Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm excited to do a tag uh, called Perfume Extremes if I had to choose. Now, I was tagged by the lovely Jackie from Jack's Beautiful You. Thank you so much for tagging me, Jackie. Uh, I'm gonna leave her link down below. Please go check her out. She's an amazing YouTuber. She does fantastic makeup. Uh, and then she has amazing taste in fragrances. So um, I'm sure that you guys would like her uh, a lot. So please go check out her channel and subscribe. And before I get started, if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Just go ahead and hit that button. Join the Weird and Wonderful family. It would be wonderful to have you part of the community. And if you already are a part of things, thank you so much for your continued support. You guys are amazing. And let's get into it. Oh, actually, before I start, I wanted to share my lip combo because whenever I wear a red lip, people ask what it is and I can't ever remember after the fact. So uh, these are all Morphe products. The lip liners are... Huva, which is kind of a raspberry red, and then Forecast, which is like basically a, almost like a gray taupe. For whatever reason, I always use uh, Forecast. They've discontinued it, so I don't know what I'm going to do because I find most neutral lip liners to be too warm on me. They go brown. So this works really well as a neutral. So I put this on, then I put Huva on, and then I used the Morphe Lip Crayon in the color TGIF. So that is my lip combo today. The first question is, what is your favorite blind buy of the year? And I would have to say it's La Dewey Tresor Nude. I'm in love with this. There's vanilla, rose, coconut, maybe some peach in here. Um, I think it is so amazingly good. It's what I would consider an elegant, sophisticated coconut. So a lot of times coconut fragrances are um, you know, they're kind of beachy or they'll smell super straight up gourmand. This one, although I would consider this uh, gourmand in nature, it's definitely a little more elevated. It smells uh, like a fragrance as opposed to a gourmand in my opinion. Uh, and that vanilla coconut combination is just amazing. But you still get somehow, they managed to infuse the La Nuit Tresor DNA into this somehow. So I absolutely think that this is uh, so, so gorgeous. It's one of my favorite fragrances for sure of the year and definitely my favorite blind buy. Now the next question is worst blind buy of the year and it's absolutely hands down Lulu by Casherelle. I still have to send this to Yulia from, uh, from sensiblings.ca. If I could put this in all the nasty uh, questions like worst fragrance ever, ugliest bottle. Like honestly, this would, uh, like I didn't choose it for everything, but it would be right up there because this is the ugliest bottle. Now I know some of you have said that you like the bottle. I'm glad you like it. If you like the scent, I'm glad you like the scent. This scent is, is what I would consider putrid. Now, someone in the comments said, oh, maybe she just got an old one, like that it's gone bad. Sorry, it's, it, 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 I, I, I checked the batch code because of that. It's, it's not that old. Like it was, uh, it was, the batch code is from a year ago. So I know this is continu discontinued somehow, but like the batch code was a year old. And so I'm not quite sure what the deal is with this. I hate the color of the bottle. I think it looks like a Tampax holder, like the kind that you had in the eighties. Of course, this is, I think from the eighties. So maybe that's part of it. Uh, it smells as if it would be good. Like when I, just get a, a slight whiff on the air, it smells good. I can see that this was a massive clubbing fragrance back in the day, because it's kind of got that sexy, sultry thing. But what I get mainly is a little bit of sexiness mixed with pleather, <laughs> like pleather, like full on pleather, like Catwoman pleather. And it's just not nice, it's, it's, it's evil, it's wrong, I, I can't handle it and I regret buying this. Thankfully, I only spent 20 bucks, so it didn't hurt that bad. Uh, I'm glad for some of you this is like nostalgic and brings back great memories. Uh, but for me, this is just stink, I'm sorry. No good for me. Now the next question is favorite fragrance of all times and this was really, really hard because there were two that came to mind. The first one was Amor Amor by Casherelle, so it's so crazy that Lulu ended up being one that I absolutely despised because 
Back in the day, I wore a nay, a nay and absolutely loved it. And then moved on to a more and more. It was my uh, one of my best friend's signature fragrance and she didn't mind if I wore it. So I wore it, made me think of her. Plus, I just really enjoyed wearing that fragrance. It was just fun. So I wore that for years and years and years, like probably 10 years at least. Uh, but I would say that my favorite fragrance of all times would have to go to Burberry Red Brit. That one smelled like gingerbread. It was very sweet, uh, but I loved it. And me and my sister both wore it. And it was just at a really fun time in our lives. And so the scent just brings back great memories. I almost bought it. Someone had put it up for sale. Like you can't find it anymore anywhere but they wanted 50 bucks for it and it was like well over 10 year old bottle. So I was scared to buy it because I thought it maybe had gone bad, but I wish that I could smell that fragrance again because it had such great memories. What about you guys? Do you remember uh, Burberry Red Brit and did you wear it? Like to me, it was a Christmas fragrance all the way. Like I, I, I in the end I gave it away because I kind of got sick of it, but I really like, I just, I, I, I miss it. I want it back. So anyway, uh, that would have to be right up there with one of my favorite fragrances. Next question would be, what is your signature fragrance? And I would say, like, I don't really have a signature fragrance because I just really love perfume and love wearing different perfumes every day. But probably the one that I would consider, like, as soon as I heard the question, the first fragrance that popped into my mind was Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. I've talked about this one a ton. Uh, I love the bottle. I love the fragrance. I get compliments with this one. Uh, I enjoy wearing it all day. I enjoy the scent bubble that I get. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel feminine. It makes me feel sophisticated. So um, this one would have to be my signature fragrance. If I was going to put on a fragrance that kind of represented me at this time in my life, it would be Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. I love it. The next one is what would be your wedding scent? Now, first of all, uh, my wedding scent was Lorraine by Ralph Lauren. So it was the one in that kind of red bottle square with the gold cap. That's the fragrance I wore on my wedding day. Um, I don't actually even remember what it smelled like. It, di it, what, it didn't register at the time as like creating a scent memory. It just was my signature scent at the time and that's the one I wore. So uh, Lorraine by Ralph Lauren was my actual wedding scent. If I were to get remarried, I'd wear Delita. Like I, I'm pretty sure I'd wear Delita. Like that's probably one of my favorite smells. I may wear Delina exclusive, except for the fact that my husband doesn't like any of the Delinas. So that may change my mind. But right now, the first fragrance that I think of uh, for wedding currently would be Delita for sure. Next category is date night scent or favorite date night scent and it would have to be Tom Ford Noir Pour Femme. I love this fragrance. So I love the kind of creamy like delicious component to this one. It smells sexy. Uh, it's it's intoxicating. It's slightly gourmand. It's sweet. It's alluring, and I just think it's absolutely divine. So Noir Pour Femme, I I feel sexy when I wear it. So definitely that would be the one that I would choose for my favorite date night scent. Okay, next is most hated fragrance. Um, I'm gonna just uh, not be overly original and go with what I always go with. That would be uh, Tom Ford's Black Orchid. I've talked about this before. To me, this is perfect for... Guys, I'm kind of starting to like it. I've sniffed it enough. Like, this is my... Guys, I'm actually liking it. It can't be my hated fragrance. It can't be my most hated fragrance then. Like I'm actually, I can't believe it. I'm kind of liking it. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this one because I, I, I've i sniffed it enough that I'm actually starting to like it. So I don't think it's my most hated. Plus it's one of those ones that I love to hate. So I, I don't even think I could choose it. Uh, so I'm gonna leave Black Orchid. Uh, this is called Self-Realization Moment. And I'm gonna go with Eau de Marve by Hermes. I hate that fragrance. I wish that I got what everybody else gets, but I don't. What I get is latex glove and, and kind of a 
glue. Like it smells like glue and latex gloves mixed together. It smells like a crime scene somehow to me. I know this sounds terrible, but when I smell Eau de Marve or Elixir de Marve, like those Marve ones by Hermes, um, I think of so, some, like, I know this sounds terrible, but I actually think of like a serial killer, killer wearing uh, latex rubber gloves. Like somehow it just doesn't give me good feelings. It makes me feel a little bit sick to my stomach. Uh, kind of creeps me out and I think latex gloves. So I think of some terrible thing that's happening to someone where they're wearing latex gloves, like a science experiment or something gone wrong. It just is not happy for me at all. Kind of creeps me out. Uh, and definitely glue-ish latex glove is what I get. I don't get it because I know a lot of people find that it's like ambery and woody and sensual and amazing. I don't know why it registers so weird to me but right now, if, uh, like being I'm kind of starting to like Black Orchid, like what's happening to me? I would pick Eau de Marve. The next category is worst fragrance bottle. And I was gonna give it to Decadence by Marc Jacobs. I hate all Marc Jacobs bottles. I think that they're tacky. Uh, but then as I got thinking about it, I had to give it to Rihanna Rebla Nude. And so, um, for a variety of reasons, this is the ugliest bottle that I own. Number one, this flesh color isn't appetizing. There's nothing sexy about it on a clear bottle. It just looks pasty. So, hate the apricotty nude color on the bottle. I hate the cap. I hate the fact that it's plastic. It looks like this. there's this little rope around it. I hate the fact that it was made to look like a stiletto because it doesn't look like a stiletto. It looks like some sort of stylized uh, Eiffel Tower. So don't like that. Uh, and then the other thing that's just horrible about this bottle is that it's almost impossible to hold. Like it feels so uncomfortable in the hand it defies description. The only thing that this bottle is good for is a weapon. It would work really well for it. And I don't even like the fragrance in this thing. So this is a massive fail of a bottle design. In my opinion, the color is ugly. It's cheap looking. Like there's like, you can see the seams. Like it's, it's just, it, it, it's just grotesque in my opinion. So Reb, Rihanna Rebla nude. It's an epic fail of a bottle. Next category is favorite bottle and I had to give it to Amouage Sunshine. I love everything about this bottle. I love the fact that it's got shimmeries in it so the whole thing is lemony yellow sparkles. I love this metal kind of detail on the front like the crest. Love that. I love the cap. It has a little gem in it. I love the shape of it. It feels kind of European and fancy. I love the fact that the cap is magnetic. I love the fact that the bottle is kind of, it's not just a square, like it's, it's kind of a unique shape, uh, but it still fits nicely into my storage areas. So um, it's not so unique that it's bulbous and hard to fit into my carousel. So I love this bottle so much. Just think it's absolutely beautiful. So Sunshine Woman by Amouage, best bottle ever. The next category is most expensive fragrance. And I think I will give it to Milano by Fragrance Dubois. I think this one is like 295 euros, I think. Um, so yes, super expensive, beautiful fragrance. Love the bottle on this one too. But yeah, this one would be my most expensive. Now my least expensive fragrance is um, Elizabeth Arden, these green tea fragrances. I got this for $6.99. So they're actually more expensive if you buy them in store, but online you can always get them for a steal of a deal. So uh, $6.99 for this fragrance. Doesn't last long, isn't worth much more than $6.99, but I sure love having it in my collection. And it's an ugly bottle too. Like you gotta admit these bottles look so freaking cheap, uh, but I really, really enjoy this set. The next category is most complimented fragrance. And I would have to give that to LaBelle. Um, basically if I wear LaBelle, I get a compliment. Like someone compliments me, uh, especially if they come in for a hug. 
definitely always get a compliment with this one. It's sweet, it's pear, it's like a boozy uh, spiced pear fragrance cooked down. Uh, it's super luscious, slightly flirty, very intoxicating, a bit sexy, and I always feel very pretty when I wear this one. So LaBelle, definitely most complimented. Now the next category is the most nostalgic fragrance. And so I actually, I couldn't really choose. I'm gonna talk about both of them because they both kind of are about moms. So first one, I've talked about this one before, it's Mon Guerlain. This one reminds me of being a mom because of that lavender, the sweetness, the femininity, the coziness of this fragrance. Uh, plus I bought this when I turned 50, so it was kind of a special fragrance for me because it was when I started kind of exploring perfumes in a greater way and came to realize that I wasn't a signature scent girl. I just liked a lot of fragrances before that. I couldn't choose a perfume because I was always looking for a signature fragrance. So, um, you know, by default, I kept using a more and more because um, I couldn't find something that I really, really loved as a signature. And it was because I was, I, I was coming to realize that I really enjoyed wearing different fragrances for different occasions, different moods. But Mon Guerlain was kind of the start of the journey. Uh, so it's sentimental from that perspective. Plus, I always associate lavender to being a mom. So my mom had lavender powder in her house and I would love sneaking into her medicine cabinet and smelling the lavender powder. When I had my son, um, I would, uh, after baths, I would use this beautiful lavender massage oil on his skin and so the lavender again was associated with being a mom and then um, I've always just really loved lavender. I love the look of lavender. Uh, I love lavender oil. I went to a lavender farm with my son. Uh, so lavender just kind of has a special place in my heart but mixed with this fragrance it's sweet, it's soft, it's feminine, it's inviting. So totally reminds me of being a mom and my mom. So it's super sentimental from that perspective. And then Casimir by Chopard. This one reminds me of my grandma. Oh, I hate it when I get all sentimental. My grandma Warren was the sweetest lady. She was a major prayer warrior. She was always praying for us kids. She was always there for us if we needed her. She was like a warm hug, always, always a warm hug. She was the sweetest lady ever. And she loved apricots and this smells like apricots. So whenever I smell this, which isn't often because I don't wear it that often, I always think of her. She was such a wonderful, wonderful, warm, kind, loving woman. So Casimir, always will remind me of my grandma. Now the last category is most offensive fragrance that you wear anyway and I'm gonna give it to Floral Street's Ylang Ylang Espresso. Um, I don't find this offensive but I think most people will not enjoy this. It certainly isn't a mass appealing fragrance. There's a powderiness to it, a little bit of a lipstick vibe, lipstick and leather and cigarettes. Like I've said before, it smells like a night of bad decisions, especially in the beginning. Uh, so super sexy, but slightly raunchy and cheap. Cigarettes, little bit of leather, little bit of uh, lipstick, little bit of powder. So that's how it starts. But then as it develops, it gets more coffee-esque. There's tiramisu in this. So this is actually considered a gourmand, even though it's got the ylang ylang. I think there may be iris in this as well. The fragrance itself, um, I would say it's that cigarette vibe that's in here. I think it's actually the coffee in it. I actually love this fragrance. I just think it's really interesting. Uh, it really smells good on, and I've actually gotten a compliment with this on. So um, as you wear it, definitely the cigarette vibe kind of calms down and you get more of that coffee tiramisu kind of whipped creamy feel uh, along with the alang alang. So if you like Cafe Tuberosa um, by Atelier Colognes, this one, this one is very similar in my opinion. So if you, uh, this one is definitely more affordable as well, I believe. 
So um, if you love Cafe Tuberosa but didn't snap it up when it was like available, I think it's discontinued. This to me it, uh, really smells very similar even though it's got Elaine and Lang instead of Tuberos. So this would definitely be my most offensive fragrance but I'm not going to stop wearing it because sometimes a girl wants to smell a little bit cheap and sexy. <laughs> yeah. Cat, I, it's just true. It's sometimes you 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 want to smell a little bit skanky. Pull out Elega Leg Espresso. <laughs> Being this is a tag video, I'm going to tag Nisha from Spicy Looks and Coco Pebs. So I'm going to tag them both to do this tag if they want to. No pressure. And I also want to tag two people from Instagram. I want to tag Janina Foster and also Deep Green Beauty to do this tag. So if you feel like doing it on Instagram, I would love to see your answers. Thank you so much, Jackie, for tagging me. All the fragrances will be listed in the description. And if you want to play along, feel free. I'll leave the questions down there so that you can uh, answer them. And yeah, that's it. I hope you have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon.